Well, good morning again, y'all, and happy Wednesday, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Mama is having some maple brown sugar oatmeal, child. So y'all don't mind me having breakfast, okay? Because mama got to eat, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all, so um, check this out. Mm -mm. Anyway, child, look what I found at the Dollar Tree. Mm, mm, mm. A wet and wild shine nail color, and it's called Caribbean Frost, y'all. Mmm, child. You talking about beautiful. Now, I got about 100 polishes, okay? Just, you know, I might be exaggerating that a little bit, but my point is is that I have a bunch of polishes, and I ain't need near another polish, child, but I don't know. For some reason, I just can't help it. When I see polished colors that I... You know, I don't think I have. I pick it up. I just can't help it, y'all. But it was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So, let me show y'all this. This is going to be my next color, as a matter of fact, um, when I get my nails done. Okay? So, I told y'all about my nails. Um, one of my nails had came off. Well, I'm sorry. Two of my nails had popped off. And it was time for me to get them soaked off anyway. When I was going to go to the nail shop, I was going to get them soaked off anyway. So, when those two came off, I went on and took them all off. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go back and get them done, but I'm waiting because when I was taken and, and I really should have just went on and, and, and got them officially soaked off instead of taking them off myself. Because when you take them off yourself, sometimes you might, you know, rip it down too far. And what I did was, I don't know what happened here, but I have like a little opening, like a little crack here, but it's too far down for me to cut it that far down. And it's kind of open and it's sore, so I don't want to go to the nail shop and have them um, put glue and cover it up because then it might not heal right or fungus. I'm just scared. See how that is? Like a little, I don't know what that is, but it's open and it's sore. So I want to wait until that heals before I go and get my fresh set. Um, yeah. Yep, that's, that's sore right there, so I got to wait. So anyway, child, this is going to be the color called Caribbean Frost, child. Now, I don't know if that color is coming off right on camera, but it's pretty. But anyway, yeah, I know y'all probably saying, girl, please, just keep it real and keep it 100, girl. You ain't got no money to pay to get your nails done, girl. Just be honest. You ain't had no money for no fill-in, so you took them off and act like it's because they was broke. Mmm. 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 Say it, ain't so. <laughs> no, but for real, though, I, I got money to get my nails done. Um, I, I just really... That really hurts right there. And if, and I don't want them putting no glue and no nail on top of it until it heals. But I got money to get my nails done. I mean, I'm just saying. Like, I got a few dollars to get my nails done, child. <laughs> now, somebody might say, girl, whatever, girl. You know that's for your uh, bread and your fuel bill, girl. Girl, you know that's for a bill, girl. Child, you ain't lying. That is for a bill. <laughs> No, but for real, though, no, I, I could get my nails done. But really, I am truly waiting. But um, I know y'all, you know, people be, I don't know, people be analyzing shit all the time and making up stuff like, you know, thinking people be lying and stuff. And I'm not saying people don't be lying up on YouTube, but it's just funny how, I don't know, I, I guess I play the devil's ass. I know what people probably really be thinking, yeah, right, she ain't get her nails done because she couldn't afford to get no filling, so she just took them off. She got money, but that's for her bills. That ain't she ain't got enough for her nails. <laughs> I always think about what people might be thinking. And I just keep it real, come out and say, it. yeah, and I know that's what y'all thinking, but no, for real. I got money to get my nails done. But truly, don't take your own nails off. Um, because first of all, they're gonna be very sore. And if you take them off, when you go to the nail shop, you're gonna find out when they go to file your nails and then do the glue and uh oh, you're gonna know, honey. So that's that's real stuff right there. But this truly right here is really what's stopping me from going to get my fill-in. Not my fill-in, my full set. Because after four fill-ins, you need to start over with a fresh set. That was a little tip I had gave on my other video. But yeah, if you can see that right there, child, in between that little hole, it, I think my little meat is exposed. And it's very sore. And like I said, if I cut it down like that, that's very sore. So I definitely don't want no glue and all that. Well, anyway, anyway, y'all, let's just keep this moving. <laughs> just keep it real up on this feet. I'm keeping it real, but I ain't keeping it stay. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
shell, no food, no fun. But anyway, um, yeah, so that was the nail polish. When I get my nails done, child, it's going to be beautiful, honey, beautiful. Okay, oh, let me fix that. That's too bad. I don't want all that going on. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so yeah, let me just do this little quick thing here real quick. Um, this is an eyeshadow palette called Fling, y'all, by L.A. Colors. Now, did I need any more um, palettes? Not that I have a hundred palettes, but I got enough of them that if I don't buy near another one, I'll have it for a few years. And then my sister had gave me this Sephora. I can have this all by itself and be good for uh, probably five years. So, <laughs> I definitely ain't need no more palettes. But I just couldn't help it, y'all. When I go in the store, look. Now, I'm sure that out of every palette I have, I'm sure I have each one of these colors. I probably got this color in my um, Profusion palette. I probably got this color in one of my um, Sephora, you know, all these colors that's in the Sephora um, thing. I'm sure that each color I got in one of my palettes that I own. But for some reason, together, it just looks so beautiful. And I just couldn't leave it. That's just my issue, why I got this. And I know I'm sure that I got each one of these colors at least in one of my palettes. But that's just beautiful, y'all. And it's called Fling by L.A. Colors. So, the combination all together. That's just a beautiful um, palette right there. Okay? And ciao! Now, I know y'all be getting them palettes. I mean, not palettes. They have, well, they do have a palette called Naked 1, 2, and 3. And I showed y'all what I considered my dupe for a uh, Naked uh, palette. Um, I, I have it. Wait, let me look at my little thing right here and see. But I have what I call a dupe for um, the Naked palettes. So that Naked 1, 2, and 3, those expensive palettes, child, mm-mm. I went right to the Dollar Tree, child, and found me a dupe, and I called it Naked. <laughs> oh, they but, um, but no, y'all, look what I found at the Dollar Tree. It's it's by Revlon. It's called Nearly Naked. Now, I think they got some kind of foundation out that, that's in that arena, Naked. But this says Nearly, I don't know if y'all can read that, but it says Nearly Naked. And it's in the color Chestnut, okay? So, I tried that. They had different colors, y'all. They had Chestnut. They had Caramel. They had um Cappuccino. They had a whole a bunch of different colors and I tried to match it up so I don't know you know if this is a like a perfect match and like I said I'm not no I don't wear no 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 foundation um a whole lot um but you know I do wear it sometimes and you know I'm gonna matter of fact let me do a little demo for y'all real quick using this let me see if I could do this real quick take this off if I can't I'll come on another video and do it you know what? You know what? I'm gonna come. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come on another video and um, put this on and let y'all see it up close closer. Because right now I'm kind of hot, y'all. I got my fan on because it's a little hot. I'm sweating, and I don't want to put this on while I'm sweating. So let me cool off. Come back on another video, and um, I'm gonna use my little travel um, makeup brush set that I got from my girl Miss Carrie Child. I'm, I'm gonna use it. This is gonna be my first time using it. I'm gonna try it on my naked, my nearly naked. By Revlon um, chestnut um, the color 280 chestnut so yeah I'll do that I'll come back and show y'all how I do my foundation and then y'all can see how that looks and then you might can go on your Dollar Tree and get it if you like it for a dollar you know if you don't want to pay all that that money you know for foundations like really y'all I'm just being honest I'm keeping it real and I ain't keeping it stank I can't pay $20 for a tube of lipstick I can't, no, not that I can't, I, I, well, no, I can't, like, that would hurt me, and what I mean by that is, see, I'm the type of person that I be thinking, if I spend $20 on a lipstick, do you know how many lipsticks I could have got for $20 in the Dollar Tree, like, do anybody else think like that, like, I be thinking, like, for, for instance, a purse, people buy them expensive, I guess, what do you call them, Coach or Gucci or whatever the name of those expensive purses are. They purchase those, I mean, I'm just saying for instance, I don't really know what the real price is, but let's just say for instance, $200. That would really, like, I can't, okay? And I don't mean financially. What I mean is, like, that would, like, hurt my heart. 
$200 on one bag. Do you know how many purses I can buy for $200 in Walmart or Target? Child, like really, like that's how I think. I think about what all or how much stuff I can get with that $200 that I'm spending on that one purse. Like, I, that's just how I think, y'all. I just, that would hurt me to spend $200 on one lousy, not lousy, but pocketbook. When I can get 20 or more for the same price, different colors. Like, that's just how I think, y'all. So, yeah, I'm, I'm cheap all the way live. Shout out to my girl, uh, Story uh, of China. Because, child, yeah, we, we run the same in that department. Yes, cheap child. Look, at, look cheap up in the dictionary, child. You'll see me. Ting. <laughs> Hold on it. And I ain't ashamed of it, child. I just keep it real, keep it on it, okay? All right, y'all. So yeah, um, and let's see. I bought a um loose eyeshadow, ombre. Well, it's a loose eyeshadow called Grape Jelly. Now I bought it just because of the name. Now, now is it pretty? Yes, it's very pretty. But the name got me. Like I love purple and lavender. I mean, I love all kinds of colors. My favorite color is blue, like really midnight blue, navy blue, all the, I love blue. Blue is like my favorite. But I love other colors too, and purple and, and lavender is a beautiful color. So it caught my attention because it was lavender, but then when I looked at the name, um, it was called Grape Jelly. Let's see, where is that? Look at that, y'all. Wait a minute. No, Lord, I'm holding up the rock. Lord, child. Mm, y'all pray the girl. She lying. That thing said flame. Child, I'm sorry. I held up the um the name of uh that palette. This is the um the eyeshadow. The loose powder eyeshadow called um Grape Jelly. Yeah, so yeah. Didn't need that, but child, I, I mean, I'm trying to tell you y'all. I get stuff just because it's pretty and cute. Like that's just how I am. And then I bought these. It was two in a pack. Um, a lip balm. It was. It's called um, aloe vera lip balm. Because the lip balm that I have that I carry in my purse, it's like a medicated one. And that's fine. Not that I need medication on my lips. And it's fine. And I love it. At nighttime, like especially after you exfoliate your lips and you put that on at night, it's fine. But it has like a medicine kind of smell. It's not too bad. But... I was in the bank the other day handling some bank business, and um, I had sat down, had just, um, I, you know, handled something, and then the, the man had to, you know, make a call, fax some stuff, blah, 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 blah. So I went out in my car to eat my lunch. I had a chicken, um, a Southwestern chicken salad. And I said, well, while you waiting to get a response, I'm going to go out in the car and eat my lunch. So I ate my lunch, you know, it was a salad. Uh, it was good, uh, grilled chicken all. It was very good. So when I came back in, well, he had came out and told, you know, waved and told me that he was ready. That, you know, that, that, that things was ready. So I went back in and I didn't have time to put my lipstick on or nothing. But I just pulled my chapstick out and put it on. And it smelled like medicine. I was kind of embarrassed. Like, damn, he probably, you know, so I, I don't know. I just didn't like that being out in public. So I bought another one for out for my for my pocketbook. Um, and, um, and also I bought this little makeup bag. From the Dollar Tree. Um, and it has, you know, some junk in it. Um, yeah. So this is for my makeup. I carry this in my purse. Bam. Four dollar. Yeah. So you can't beat that. And it's lightweight and it's, you know. Alright, y'all. So that's it. I just wanted to come on, y'all, to show y'all what my next polish is going to be. Caribbean Frost. And I'm going to come back on and do, um... I guess you would call it a review because I want to review it. I want to see how it looks. And, and, you know, is it really going to look like I don't have on makeup? And is it going to match my skin color so I can go back and get another color and maybe mix it with this or whatever? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a big time foundation wear, but I do wear it sometimes. And um, so, yeah, they sell uh, Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation in the Dollar Tree. All right, y'all. So that's the end of my little haul, y'all. So I'll come back and holler at y'all in another video okay all right y'all only if it's the lord's will child okay all right now bye y'all mm -hmm.